What went through your mind when you first were invited to be a jury member? I was really excited and couldn't quite believe that I was asked. And it was it, and felt honored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do you kind of like see that role, or how did you, how do you want to approach it in the next ten days? So like how, how how do you want to like um, approach that role of being a jury member in the next ten days? Um, I think stay stay alert throughout all the films and just basically have good discussions with everybody and give every film a fair chance. Um, why? Why do you think like cinema or movies are like a medium to communicate? You know, <coughs> bless you. <laughs> Sorry, bless you. Um, to sort of like communicate or uh, visualize queer life and queer movements. What? Why does it work? I think um, essentially f films are stories, and people love to hear stories especially about other people, and politically as well. I think it's an easier way to educate people about various issues and lives and experiences and instead of them feeling that they're being hit over the head with um, more of their politics. It's a gentler way, I think, sometimes. What, what would you say, like, what do you look out for when you watch films in general? Like, what captivates you? Uh, something... What we look for is generally a film that will grab grab our gut feelings, just excite or curiosity or interest or just make you go wow. And do you are you are you like excited or like a little bit nervous about the idea of like negotiating with a group in the next ten days? How do you feel about being part of a Well we've had a few discussions already and I think we all we all get on really well and I don't foresee any difficulties. Excited about the process. Like how? How do you think it will it will go? It will like work out? Do you see yourself like discussing a lot or? <laughs> I, th I think it will work out well. Mm -hmm. We've had we've agreed so far. I, should, probably, I don't think I should say this. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please, all the secrets. <laughs> but you've only watched two films. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we've been talking about other films in general, not just from the Berlin Alley, but films we've chosen for our, our own festivals or that we've seen. And that's that's interesting as well to see the differences and, and similarities and opinions. Where do you, um, how do you define queer cinema? That's a really broad question. Sorry? <laughs> how do you define queer cinema? Oh, queer or what, cinema. what is that for you? And where, where are the problems? Yeah, I'm not sure what I would define as queer cinema. I mean, obviously there's overtly queer cinema, which is about sexuality and gender, straight out. Um, but also, I mean, queer people aren't just their sex. They're, they have other interests. We have other interests and things going on that in our lives. But I think there's a queer eye to making films. I think that's what sh shines through. Is, um, in our festival, it's more about the filmmaker being queer rather than the content, and I think that just opens audiences up, opens people up. And do you, where are the like problematic fields, or like what is still what 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 would you like say is problematic about queer cinema at the moment? Maybe is there some? diversity, I'd say, and the way people of colour are represented? Quite often, it's we're seen as victims or oppressed, and oppressions worldwide. You know, it's not just people from African nations or Pakistan or India that are suffering. It's like we have joy and excitement in our lives, you know, and have crazy times. And you tend not to see many films featuring normal, average stories. It's all pure, pure, pure them. I think that's a big. I think that's a problem, not just in queer film, but in mainstream and straight film. And how how do we change that? I think have more people involved in the industry that aren't white, from the ground upwards, from technicians, camera people, script writers, and also the, the one the decision makers and the money people. 
whole, the whole system has changed. Yeah. Do you think that uh, movements like the Oscars are so wide, which is like a very, you know, so very mainstream in Hollywood sort of like mm. approach, but do you think these things are important? Would they even affect queer cinema, like independent cinema? Is it all interrelated or what? I don't, I don't think it would affect queer cinema per se. I think it's so out with our realm of experience. The Oscars seem you know, away, away over there, you know. Um, if anything, I feel that Oscars So White has, has brought into the consciousness of people that weren't aware that it was a problem to begin with, that they'd just taken what was given to them and represented. And maybe they're just starting to think more because it's now in the mass media. Okay. What are you looking forward to most in the next 10 days? Uh, the queer programmers meeting. Yeah. Uh, because one, one great thing about that is that there's, there's programmers from all over the world coming over yeah. and you really get to have that experience. Yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that.